What's your favorite part of the creative process in putting an album together? I'm a sucker for the feelings that get me to the music. You know, so I, I enjoy going through the nights of feeling lonely and lovesick and the nights of feeling ecstatic. The early part. Uh, the rest of it's pretty tedious once you get down to crap, you know, recording the music and then if you're involved like I am throughout every step of the process, it becomes, the work starts to become apparent. But before that, it's just fun and playful. What do you hope audiences or listeners come away with after hearing your album? You know, sore thighs from dancing. You know, I don't make music to change the world. I do a lot of things in my life. I feel like um, I do just every day to be a better person. But with my music, it's, you know, it's like when you leave work at 7 o'clock at night and you run home and you change clothes and you meet your friends out at a bar or something and you just want to forget about your asshole boss or, you know, your boyfriend that cheated on you with your sister, whatever it is. My music's just there to kind of help prod that experience along. So just have a good time. What are you looking forward to most about the release of the album and having a full-length album out? Sharing, sharing tracks that aren't singles. With some of my most fun music I've recorded so far, there aren't songs that I could release, and you know, they're, not, they're not commercial. And I think having people share those with me, because I've only put out records so far that you know, were being released. And so I guess that, I don't know. That's awesome. How about iTunes sells? Money. Is that, is that an okay answer? That's okay, too, if that's what you are excited about, yeah. yeah. I don't know. You're also very interactive with your fans on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. What do you like about uh, connecting with your fans this way? You know, I actually become fans of some of my fans. You know, I follow some people on Facebook and on Instagram, and people just have crazy lives. This one guy is always posting pictures of, like, his most lily-white huge ass I've ever seen and he's just like he's always like yeah right there yeah and you know it's just I really am intrigued by the people that come into my life um, also I feel like if I had been able to communicate with people that you know I looked up to or that I was a fan of growing up or in, in any point in my life I would have loved it you know if I could have talked to Lark Voorhees on Saved by the Bell before she ruined her face recently I'd have told her don't do it I don't know it's just cool. I get bored sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> well, you keep us entertained because you always have great pictures and you're always... Great you of, do. Uh, of some questionable things. Yes, yes. <laughs> look, your pictures are very, very... Some of them are, are risque and others are fun to look at. Facebook so Facebook kicks me off one more time, though. I'm going to have to find a new social media site. <laughs> You'll have to start your own. <laughs> On jasondatley.com, make, make your own link. No one will ever kick you off of it. What have you learned about yourself from being a performer? That I need my rest. Yeah, something happened at some point in my life, and sleep is really important, just to be 100%. And I learned that from working in clubs till 3 in the morning and then getting up and trying to do a morning radio show at 6 o'clock or something. And, you know, beauty rest, it's important. It is. It keeps us looking... Young. <laughs> oh, what's the best advice you've ever received? The best advice is hard to pin down one thing. But I'll tell you some advice that got me right here. Okay. If you want something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. And I believe that applies to every aspect of one's life. So, um, you know, when you're sitting down and you're thinking, why have I not broken through in this? Or why have I not... You know, the real question is, what have I not tried yet? And sometimes that takes the biggest leap of faith. But you have to make it. That's really good advice. Um, the last few questions are just some fun questions. Okay. What's your favorite way to spend your day off? Getting stoned and watching movies. <laughs> <laughs> Free will for me, that guy. Yay. <laughs> favorite way to stay in shape? Sex. <laughs> No, that's good. It's been watching movies. <laughs> that's very multitasking. <laughs> um, boxers or briefs? Briefs. Yeah, my boys need a little hoist. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you could have any superpower, which one would you choose? If. Or do you, I mean, maybe you do have a superpower. <laughs> no, I think I would like to be able to fly pretty hands down. You know, just to be like, peace out, and be gone. Oh. Yeah. Love it. Well, that's everything. Well, this you. was wonderful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.